Okay, we continue on the section 15.4 about associate legenda equation. Last time we transformed that into an equation like that because of the associate legenda function. We define that as uh, this factor to the power m over 2 times uh, the script p. Now I use y instead of script p to make it uh, nicer to work on it. So we need to solve this equation. And to do that, uh, first we try the series method. So we assume y to take a, a form of series. So y is equals to sum over j for your textbook 0 to infinity a sub j to the power xj plus a constant k which we'll find a condition to determine what k is so and then we'll determine how we solve a sub j by substitute this into this equation Okay, so now we have this y, so um, we, we need y pi and y double pi. Actually, we need x times y pi and, and then y double pi and x squared times y double pi. So, so uh, the first thing we, know, we need is x times y pi. So let's just write y prime first. y prime would be sum over j and then j plus k times a sub j x j plus k minus 1. Okay. And then uh, actually we need x times y prime. So for x times y prime, basically we can't just cancel th this one. So x times uh, y prime is just get rid of the extra minus one factor. Okay, so that is uh, this one. Now we have to, uh, we need two things. One is y double pi, the other x squared times y double pi. So for y double pi, we take one more derivative over this one. So y double pi is equals to sum over j zero to infinity j plus k, and then we have j plus k minus 1, and then multiply by a, j, a sub j, x, j plus k minus 2. So that's y double pi. And then for this term, x squared times y double pi will basically cancel this minus 2 in the power. So x squared y double pi will be simply so j from 0 to infinity j plus k j plus k minus 1 a sub j x j plus k get rid of the minus 2 in the exponent now all so this term and this y is given by this this x squared times y double pi given by this all are of the form x to the power of j plus k actually this one this one x to the power of j j plus k, x to the power of j plus k, but not this one. This one is the first term, y double pi. 
this is x to the j plus k minus 2. So uh, they don't totally match. So to make that match to the same x to the j plus k power, we can do a simple shift of the uh, this summation index. So basically we can, uh, let's work out in here. So we can call j pi equals to j minus 2. So this j minus 2 becomes a j pi. Okay. All right, so, so this this means j. Whenever we see j, we change this to j pi plus 2. So this becomes j pi plus 2, j pi plus 2, j pi plus 2. And we sum over j pi. So this means that we sum for j pi. We'll figure out what the limit for uh, later. So this is j becomes j pi plus 2. So j prime plus two a j prime plus two that become x j prime plus k. Okay, now the limit is uh, when j is zero when j is zero j prime is minus two, so j prime is minus two to infinity. Okay. So all the other terms are summing from j from c to infinity. And once we figure that out, we are summing over this new j, or what we call j pi. Now, because this is a summation uh, index, or a dummy index, we can now get rid of the pi. We get rid of all the pi. Yeah, get rid of the pi, the pi, pi. Let's forget about that. <coughs> okay, so note all everything is of the same form x to the j plus k power. So we can add everything except that uh, after we sub substitute this, all this into here, there are two more terms. One is j for this term which is y double pi, you have two more terms. One is j equals to minus 2, the other is j equals to minus 1. So, so this implied, after you sub, substitute this into this, this into this, and this into this, and this into this one. So we will have, a, first we will figure out the, the first two terms, j pi is minus 2, so if j pi is minus 2, or j is minus 2, cancel with the 2, that would be k. And this would be k minus 1, and 10 times a, and j is minus 2, so this is 0, a sub 0. Okay? And so the, the next one is j is minus 1 plus minus 1 is k plus 1 and times k times k times a is j is minus 1 is a1 okay so there you have first two terms a sub 0 a sub 1 and then the rest is summing of a j from 0 to infinity um, now you have um, uh, this is from this term, this term, and the rest are uh, all these terms, and the rest have the all, all a sub j. Only this term has a to the sub j, j plus two. Okay, so j plus two has only one term, so you have. Uh, um, this is substituted in here, so we have j plus k plus 2 times j plus k plus 1 times a 
j plus 2. OK? And then uh, everything else, so uh, proportional a sub j, so you can write this is minus of that, so minus. That's everything minus, OK? So you have this one, j plus k, j plus k minus 1, so that's this one. And then you have this one, it's from this one. So you have minus 2, minus coming out, so you have plus 2, m plus 1, times this one, j plus k. OK, so this is that one. And finally, you have all these multiplied by this one. All this, uh, you have plus. Uh, you have this, the, all these are plus, so that changes to minus sign, say minus l times l plus 1 plus m times m plus 1. All these uh, multiplied by multiplied by a sub j and all of these are multiplied by x to the power of j plus k. Okay, so now in order that u equals to zero, okay, so how to make this to zero? Of course, uh, now you have a, a choice. So your a zero, a one. You can make one of them zero because uh, this the whole square bracket equals zero, meaning that uh, a j plus two uh, related to a sub j. So you, every every time you uh, increase by two, the subscript increase by two. So that's the recurrence formula for this all this coefficient. So if you have a0 is uh, non-zero, a1 is zero, so we keep all the, only the, uh, only the even order uh, j, even j. But then uh, if a0 is zero, a1 is non-zero, you keep only all the odd, odd uh, a sub j, on the odd j, okay? So that's the idea, and then, uh, another way to look at that uh, is to set the k, okay? If, um, so k, in order that uh, these two terms zero, the other way to, to make it zero is uh, set either k, if k is zero, of course, uh, this both, both of them are zero, okay? You can set k is, k is zero, and then uh, a. Then you can choose either a a zero is c, is zero or a e one is zero. Okay. Or the other choice, of course, uh, k is one or minus one. If k is k is one, so this term is zero. This term is two times one, and then you have this uh, only have the a one and then you need to set a1 to 0, a0 is non-zero, okay? If k is minus 1, then, uh, then this is minus 2 times minus 1 is 2 times a0, so you need to set a0 is 0. That will give you the uh, odd, um, um, the odd order, okay? So one thing we can do is just Simply to get rid of this is set k equals zero. I think this is what your textbook do, and uh, to set uh, to set uh, k k can be zero or one. So for you can set k equals zero first. So set k equals zero. So this, if you set k equals zero, 
So this will give you a j plus 2 related to uh, a j. So this will equal to that, this one when you set k equals 0. Let's, let me let us write it down explicitly. So k is 0, so you have uh, j plus 2 times j plus 1 times a j plus 2. j is from 0 to infinity, so this is all uh, positive, and that equals to uh, everything else. So, so this is j times j minus 1 plus 2m plus 1 times j, okay, and then minus l times l plus 1, plus 1, plus m times m plus 1 multiplied by a sub j. So these are related to each other. This should be the equation. I mean, after some simplification, should be the equation 15.73. So this one divided by this factor. So uh, if for all terms this is non-zero, then uh, all the a sub j will not be zero. You have infinite many terms. And from the convergency consideration, that uh, at the boundary term when x is equals to plus or minus 1, then uh, you will get into a divergency problem. So one way to get rid of that is um, to, uh, for some of some, at some j, that uh, this bracket would be 0. And to find it out, uh, you can solve that. This is just a quadratic equation in J. Okay, and you can actually simplify that. That factor, that factor, um, you can write it down like uh, you have everything else. Uh, so, so you have J square. So this is exactly the, the factor in your textbook. But uh, to set this to zero, that might need um, a little bit of work actually trying to solve the quadratic equation. But uh, um, because we already know the solution, we can check whether that is true. So we, we set, uh, we set let j equals to l minus m. Okay, and this is only possible because j is integer, and L is integer by the Legenda equation, we, we need M is integer also, and J is L minus M, okay, we, we can uh, substitute this into here, so if J is L minus M, so the first term, actually you can, you can, this bracket, just look at this bracket, you have L minus m times l minus m. So we can group the 2j in, in to the same factor here. So l minus m is j, and then you have l minus m, j minus 1, minus 1, plus 2m plus 2. So that's this 2, and then you have minus L times L plus 1 plus M times M plus 1. Okay, now you can simplify that. So, so you have, uh, this is L minus M, you have plus 2M becomes L plus M. You can get rid of this one, minus 1 plus 2 becomes plus 1, get rid of this one, okay? So you have L minus M times L plus M plus 1. So you, you can um, 
multiply bit out, so you have L times L plus 1, so L times L plus 1 with this one, and then you have a L times M plus L times M, and then minus M times L, which is cancel, okay, and then M times M minus M times M plus 1. Okay, so this this 2 is this 2, and then you subtract this. Alright, so L times L plus 1 cancel with this, minus M times M plus 1 cancel with this, this is 0. So this cancel with that, this cancel with that. Okay, so right at j equals to l minus m, that is uh, equals to zero. And so uh, this means that uh, uh, we have a solution for the, uh, this equation, but truncated, so it's a polynomial. Also, um, j is summing from, um, summing up to, summing from zero to a maximum number j is l minus m, okay, and j is greater than zero, so so l minus m must be greater than zero, so l minus m greater or equal to zero, you can sum j from zero, so l minus m must be greater than zero.